Hi, and welcome to the first episode of the Brew Review Crew. I'm Ron. And I'm Corey. And today we are going to be reviewing Trace Blueberry Stout from Dark Horse Brewing out of Marshall, Michigan. Glub, 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 glub. Uh, this blueberry stout is one of five different stouts they have in their holiday uh, stout series. Uh, there was the one, the one oatmeal stout, and there's two cream stout. And this is the trace blueberry the stout. Trace blueberries. There's four what smoke barrel stout. Yep, smoke stout, and then plead the fifth, which I'm not sure what that one is, but. It's a nice little five beer series, all on stouts, all meant for the holiday season, and we're very excited to try this one out. So let's take a look at the Trace Blueberry Stout. All right, so let's talk a little bit about uh, Dark Horse Brewery. Um, I first ran into them when I went to the Michigan Brewers Guild Summerfest up in Ypsilanti, Michigan. Uh, they were the first tent right when you walked in, and you know most other breweries when they are there have maybe five to seven of their brands uh, take up one little spot in one big tent. And these guys took up two full tents where they had uh, like 90 different beers on tap. It was outrageous. I didn't think that they would ha anybody would have capacity to, to brew these that number of beers uh, for a festival. Uh, but they had a gigantic board outside of the tent and, uh, you know, lines for each, each uh, little line was about 10 different samplings. And uh, once they were gone, they were gone. So I imagine they were probably brewing small batches. But, I mean, they had every different type of beer you could possibly think of. And I think I probably tried six or seven of them and, you know, for the most part, really liked them. Um, they're like that stereotypical... Uh, what you think of when you think of a brewer. All of their guys have just these yeah, monster <laughs> beards and it's awesome huge. tattoos and uh, a kind of a, a biker vibe yeah. to it, uh, kind of like an outlaw biker vibe. Uh, they're featured in that new Michigan beer film that's out and um, there's a clip of them on their website. And their whole kind of philosophy is that they're gonna do what they wanna do brew the kinds of beers they want to, to brew regardless right. of, you know, what the people, you know, overall want or what the trends are. They're going to try if they want to try it. If it works great and it doesn't, okay, but uh, they really make some yeah. interesting stuff. So with that being said, let's uh, take a look at this beer. Cheers. 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 <clears throat> First things I can really get here are, uh, it's actually a surprising amount of blueberry on the nose. Mm -hmm. I mean, normally with like fruit beers, it's either in your face or it's not there at all. And this is one of those more in your face blueberries. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you definitely get the blueberry. I think it's uh, tied in well with the, the chocolate notes yeah. and kind of like that roasty, roasty yeah, aroma. Definitely almost like a burnt, like a roasted burnt malt flavor. But yeah, the blueberry, uh, it's very nice though. Yeah, true. All right, let's take a try out. <clears throat> Surprisingly, not much blueberry. I mean, for everything that was on the nose, more of what I get in the actual flavor of it is, you know, dark malts and a little bit of chocolate, or some roastiness, but not much blueberry until kind of like the end there. Yeah, it's definitely right there on the back end. When you swallow, there's yeah. a little bit of blueberry, but as it kind of lingers in your mouth, uh, that blueberry really comes out and it's got a really, really nice classic mouthfeel for a stout. Okay. Nice and slick and coating and really good and makes you want to go back for another taste, but really well done. Yeah, yeah it's not it's not like overly, speaking of mouthfeel, it's not overly chewy or, uh, you know, too thick. It's It's got a nice consistency to it. Not over carbonated, but there is some, you know, some fizz there. Uh, Overall, it's really nice. Yeah, it's a good one. I feel like this is one that uh, a lot of different people will like. It's not like a big, huge, monstrous imperial yeah. stout. Uh, it is 7.5%, but... It doesn't really feel like it. No, there's really no burn there. Uh, it's a very well-balanced beer. It's almost like uh, 
blueberry waffle cone ice cream, kind of like at the end, after you take a, take a, like a bite of that, you kind of have that lingering flavor of blueberry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's really nice. Uh, it'd be really good with uh, like ice cream or something. <laughs> yeah, now, of course. Now you have me wanting ice cream. Or, or pancakes or uh, waffles or but, why not? <laughs> very, uh, very nice flavor. Um, it's something that you could probably get, you know, more than one of these when you go out to a oh, bar. Easily. Uh, very smooth drinking. It's really good. It might not last long if you drink more than one, but <laughs> flavor-wise and uh, you know bitterness and and all that stuff, where it's too sweet to drink more, that's not all the case. Yeah, I guess we're doing this a little backwards, but I mean, in terms of, <laughs> a, of appearance, it's pretty dark. Yeah. I mean, it's about as dark as it gets. Nice, deep, dark brown. Only just the very edges there, you get a little hint. Yeah. Of you know, some light that shines through. And it's got that nice vanilla, off like that that uh, tan off brown head. Mm -hmm. Kind of went away right away, but it's all right. Yeah, it doesn't really lace the glass too much, but it's got a nice little coating there. Yeah. But yeah, it's a good looking beer, and it tastes good. So <laughs> pretty well done. How would you uh, How would you rate this overall? Uh, I think overall, I'd probably give it uh, a 93. I mean, an A minus. I mean, yeah. it's it's nothing outrageous. It's nothing that. Uh, you know, might stick out in your mind, you know, months down the road, but it's good. Yeah. I mean, it does everything right. But it's not over the top in any one area. I'd, I'd give it an A. Yeah, I'd probably give it a right around that B plus A minus range. I mean, like you said, it doesn't really stick out at you anyway. Where it's going to be something that you remember for the rest of your life. <laughs> it's not. It's not even one of those beers that you're going to crave every single day. But at the same time, it's it's really well done. It's nice and balanced. I mean, for 7.5%, you, you don't get anything there, so that's good. Um, not much hot flavor or anything, nope. which you shouldn't be, but sometimes there are. It'd be fun to try to track down a six pack, you know, of the five different, uh, five yeah. different. Well, it'd be a five pack. I guess a five pack with a, <laughs> a holiday, their holiday stout series. I'd be really interested to kind of put them in a little, a little flight and just go mm -hmm. back to back and see you know, how much different, because I have to imagine probably the base beer is probably all the yeah. same. Just That's probably true, yeah. Different. Um, just different know. additives in the secondary and all that. So yeah, I think it's pretty good. Uh, if you see it, pick it up. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, so guys, thank you again for checking out our very first video of the Brew Review Crew. Uh, if you like what you see, please recommend us to your friends. Like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash brewreviewcrew. Find us on Twitter. Yep. We'll have all these links um, right below in our comment box, so just click on there. Links to uh, brewreviewcrew.com, to our Facebook and to our Twitter, and keep in contact. We're always you know, quick to reach back to you guys. Yep, leave us comments on the iTunes uh, podcasting, and uh, we will greatly appreciate them. Uh, until next time, I'm Ron. I'm Corey. We're the Brew Review Crew. Cheers. Cheers. Glub, 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 glub.